In this tutorial, I'll show you how to crop videos to circles, rectangles, rectangles with rounded corners, and so on in Premiere Pro. So let's get to it. So here we are in Premiere. I've got this video as the example with a simple color mat underneath it as the background. Let's say I wanted to create a cutout around the man's face, and let's start with the shape of a circle first. So the way we do that is by coming to the tools, click and hold the rectangle tool until you see the other options, and select the ellipse tool. Then in the program manager, click and drag, holding shift to create a proportional circle or the ellipse around the man's face. So let's match it with the length of the video on the timeline, then open effects window and search for track mat key effect and add this effect to the video layer. Then head over to the effect controls panel and here in the track mat key settings, you'll see the mat drop down, open it. And here you need to select the track that has the graphics that we've created. So here you can see it's on track number three for me. So I'm going to select video three. And as I do that, the video is instantly placed inside of the graphics that we created. So here, if you want to move the, the circle, select the selection tool, then select the graphic on the timeline. And here you can move it around and place it wherever you want. Or if you want to move the video inside of the circle, you search for offset effect in effects and add it to the video layer. Then in effect controls, make sure it is above the track mat key effect. And here from the shift center to you can move the video without affecting the circle. But now let's say if you wanted to create a rectangle cutout or even like a rectangle with rounded corners. So the approach is similar, but has its difference at the end. So let me select the graphics and press delete to delete it. So here I'm going to click and hold and select the rectangle tool. And again, click and drag holding shift to create a rectangle. So here we have a rectangle cutout. And let's say I wanted to create a rectangle with rounded edges. So the way we do that is first, let's align it with the length of the video. Then you need the essential graphics panel. If you don't see it, come here to the window and make sure the essential graphics is selected. Then on the timeline, select the graphic, come to the essential graphics panel in here, make sure shape 01 is highlighted. And then this little icon, corner radius, controls the roundness of the corner. So if I drag this up, the corners are getting rounded. And if I set this to 100, we should have a very nice rounded cutout. And here I'm going to select the selection tool. And again, you can move the rectangle and place it wherever you want. Let's say you wanted to create a stroke around the cutout. That is super easy. All you have to do is hold the Alt key on the keyboard and click and drag the graphic one track up. That will create an extra track. Now select the, the one on top. Come here to the essential graphic, select the shape of one. And in the appearance, disable fill, enable stroke. And here you can choose any color that you wish. I'll leave it as white. And here, if you increase the stroke width, you can see you can control the width of the stroke. So I'm going to set it to something like 15. And now we have a nice stroke around the cutout. And after doing that, we can drag and select all of the layers except the color mat. Then right click any of them, go to nest, name this whatever you want. And here we have an entire cutout into one single nested sequence. So if I select it, then select the motion in the effect controls and I can move it and place it wherever I want. And if you wanted to add a drop shadow to nicely separate the cutout from whatever's happening in the background, come here to the effect, search for drop shadow, add it to the nested sequence. Then in effect controls here, play around with the drop shadow settings. I'm going to set the opacity 75. I'll increase distance to say 30 and set softness to 50. And here you can see if we toggle this on and off, we have a nice drop shadow that separates the cutout from the background. And here, if you play this, you can see that we've created a very nice cutout with the drop shadow and with the stroke. And that's how you crop videos into any shapes in Premiere Pro. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Peace out.